Hey everybody, time for another episode of Danko and a Bag of Chips. And I'm on a day off here in Hamburg, Germany. And day offs are usually when I get to do these episodes, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I've been enjoying all the feedback that everybody's been uh, giving me about the episodes, leaving comments, um, all positive actually. I don't think there's been any negative comments. There's been people who've recommended their favorite bags. And uh, it's just been a great kind of stimulating conversation about potato chips, which I am always interested in. Uh, the one thing I will say, and this ties in with this episode, is lots of people have been recommending bags of potato chips by Ruffles, Lay's, Estrella. These are huge potato chip companies, and they, they make the rounds, and you can get them fairly easily. Uh, I, I kind of want to kind of curtail this uh, show uh, to focus on like more boutique or or um, not as popular brands. And uh, there's so many kinds of potato chips is really the point. So, you know, anyone who, you know, tells me that this brand from Estrella or this brand from Ruffles is the best bag of potato chips they've ever tasted, that's like telling me like, you know, uh, this really popular thing is what I should be into. But there's like, a thousand other bags that people don't know about, including myself. So this is what the show is about, trying to find out about all these other kind of not as popular brands. So I prefaced all of all of that because with that, I should say, because this is this is what I'm talking about for this episode. Pringles is also one of the most popular chips in the world. And uh, I know what I just said is the opposite of, of this whole episode, but look at this. It's first of all, the passport flavors, passport flavors of Pringles, New York style cheeseburger flavor. Uh, me being from Canada, we don't get to see these kinds of flavors. This is, I've got this in Germany. There's an American flag at the bottom too, which is kind of odd. And the skyline, as you can see, New York, although, yeah, that's New York because there's the Statue of Liberty. It's crazy. So let's try it out. So it does count. I mean, if there's a flavor of chip that you can't get, you know, that I can't get at home and it's a very popular brand, I will try it out. Okay, so I've done Pringles before in the past on this show. So uh, I usually take a whack of Pringles. Oh my God. This, this does taste like a hint of a hamburger. I don't know about cheeseburger, but hamburger. If the hamburger was the works, because you can taste a bit of pickle, a bit of onion, tomato, which is, you know, basic staples in the works hamburger. Wow. This is also a, as you can see, limited edition right there. Um, Three and a half out of five chips. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't know if I'd buy another one. I don't know. It's so weird. And I have to try it. So three and a half chips. 